Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be celebrating Cinco de Mayo, but we're not going to be doing any normal celebrating. Most people think of Cinco de Mayo, they think of tacos, margaritas, <laughs> tortillas, exactly. A lot of things come to mind, but one thing nobody thinks about is dessert. So today we're going to be exploring uh, a very creative and somewhat new dessert that we think all of you guys should be trying coming up for this Cinco de Mayo. We'll also be featuring this in our Cinco de Mayo class. So if you like what you see, you can always go online and buy some tickets for them. So without further ado, let's get started. Today we're going to be making an avocado ice cream with candied jalapenos and a red hot candy topping. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm going to break down each one. We're going to make it all from scratch. So let's go ahead and let's get cooking. Okay, so first we are going to candy these fresh jalapenos right here. What I'm going to do to start, I'm just going to cut these into slices, full rings. We're going to leave the seeds in there and everything because we want all that nice flavor to go along with it. I'm just going to cut off these very tops here. All right, now we're going to begin candying these freshly cut jalapenos. And in order to do that, we are going to take one cup of sugar. All right, get that all nice and mixed together. And we're gonna heat this until it gets to a boil. Wanna make sure you get those garlic clumps all mixed in, because in moisture they will tend to clump together. Now it's time to add our jalapenos into our mixture. Mainly it's that you're smelling the uh, apple cider vinegar, which can be a little bit potent, especially when boiled. Mix <laughs> a little bit of turmeric and garlic. Now the jalapenos, give them a little bit of spice to the air, brings a tear to your eye. Literally. Alright, so now we reduced it, we gave them a few minutes to uh, simmer in our sugar reduction. Now you can see that they're about time because they start to lose that vibrant green color and they start to look almost like the color of canned uh, jalapenos. Of our sugar syrup has now infused the little jalapeno juice as well as the seeds. We're going to turn this back up now and we want to let this uh, have a low boil for a few minutes. We really want this to thicken up into a nice syrup that's going to really keep these guys nice and candied here. So, all right, now that uh, we have our jalapeno syrup over here, uh, we got it reduced to a nice thick texture. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And now we're going to be adding this back into our jar full of jalapenos from before. All right, so here we have our candied jalapenos, and they are just uh, resting in this nice sweet and spicy syrup. You can let this go for up to three to four weeks, uh, but the longer they sit, the more flavor they'll get. All right guys, now it's time to make our red hot candy. Now this is something that I'm kind of just making up as we go, so hopefully this part turns out all right. But what I'm going to do is start by making a regular old rock candy, kind of spread it out on a sheet. And uh, I'm going to be flavoring that with these dried chiles right here. I'm going to be using these because it's best not to be using a water-based kind of flavoring agent. Usually you want something oil-based, but since this is all dried out, I know there isn't any water left in it, so hopefully we can get enough flavor out of this in order to make this nice and spicy and a little bit sweet. So let's get started. and about a half cup of some light corn syrup. So anyway, I have our water, our sugar, and our light corn syrup in the pan, and I'm gonna turn that on because we wanna get this into a boil. Now that I have that in there as well, I'm going to be adding some red food coloring to it because we wanna make sure everybody knows this is nice and hot, so let me squirt some. Yeah, when you're doing this at home, make sure you're starting with something you really don't care too much about because this stuff is hard to get out. Now we're going to add a little bit of our spice factor in there. If 
few of these dried chiles and get that all stirred back up together. So the key to this is what you want to do is get it nice and heated up first and you want to stir it around for this portion of it because you want all the sugar to get broken down. But now in order to make it into a rock candy we have to do something known as tempering the sugar. To do that you're going to have to put a thermometer into this and uh, you're going to keep watching it. You have to get it up to 300 degrees. If it doesn't get up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit then it won't set properly. And during this process, since you already have the sugar all dissolved, you don't have to stir it at all. So you just set it in there, you're going to watch it bubble and boil away. Don't worry about it, you don't need to stir it, just keep the thermometer in there and keep reading it. Okay, now it is time. Our mixture has reached 300 degrees, which means it's tempered. Now if you're not sure exactly what that means, that means that this will now harden into like a glass-like structure instead of just being a very, very kind of hard, movable object. So anyway, we gotta spray this down first. And we take our hot, piping hot mixture. Woo! It's uh, spicy. We'll just let gravity do the rest. So I'm gonna take this and go put it into our freezer and get this to set. So what we're gonna be working on next is our avocado ice cream. So to do that, we first gotta start splitting open our avocados. Now the easiest way to do that, I'm gonna show you right here. You just take your avocado and hold your knife like this, slide it on into the middle. There's a big seed in the middle called a pit. And you just take that and roll it around in your hand till you get back to where the knife began. Simply just spin to the side a little bit and chop and take out our seed. Now there's a little bit of browning area in it. It's not necessarily bad for you, but if you want, you can go ahead and take it out just for the overall look of it. The rest of it, we're just gonna take and put right into our processor. Okay, now that we have all of our avocados into our mixture, I am going to freshly squeeze some lemon juice. Not only does the citric acid work really well with the taste of avocado, but it's also gonna stop it from browning uh, as we go on. So I'm gonna do about two tablespoons here. It's back over so everyone can see. We're gonna put this back on and get this blended up together, make some room. Alright, so now we're going to take our avocado mixture here and we're going to put it into our ice cream. Uh, we got ours churned to about a soft serve, so I'm going to go ahead and take this on out. Alright, so we just pulled out our avocado ice cream mixture. It's still a little bit of a soft serve type texture. If you look closely, you can really see those little pieces of avocado that are in the mixture. So I'm going to go ahead and put a top on this and we're going to go ahead and freeze it for a couple hours to get this a little bit more set. Now it's time to finish up our red hot candy topping. So if you see here, we have what we worked on before. Our sugar has tempered down into a nice hard material. And I have tested it, it is quite sweet and definitely has a kick to it. But even though it is now nice and hard, it still is a little bit sticky on the top and these pieces then to stick together. So I'm gonna teach you a little trick that's gonna stop it and also make them taste a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some confectioner sugar. Okay. Now this doesn't really need to be too precise of a measurement. What we're actually gonna be using this is kind of like uh, what you use flour for when you make dough. We don't want anything to stick to any surfaces. So we take one part, confectioner sugar, and to go with all the rest of the flavors, I want a little bit of sour to it as well. So I'm going to take a tablespoon 
of citric acid. All right, and we'll just go ahead and combine those two. Start smashing. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bag here and I'm gonna take the remainder of this nice powdered sugar and citric acid and stuff that at the bottom there. And All right, everybody, it's now time for our final plating and presentation of our avocado ice cream with all the toppings. I just got a couple more things to do, and we're gonna assemble it all together at once. First thing you wanna do, you wanna take our red hot candy here, and we wanna turn it into a little more of like a, like a sprinkle type of uh, topping. So I'm just gonna take a few of these nice little shards here and drop them into our food processor. Now, it's time to scoop up some of our avocado ice cream. Okay guys, so there we have it. That is our avocado ice cream with our red hot candy topping as well as our candied jalapenos. So there's only one thing left to do now, and that's to dig in. It's really good. Get a lot of that heat. Woo! From that candy, a little bit of kick from those jalapenos, a lot of sweetness coming through. Richness of the avocado ice cream just brings it all together. But whoo, it's got a little kick. I do love that though. All right guys, so that's it for us here today. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click on that subscribe button because we have plenty more great recipes coming to you here in the future. Look forward to seeing you guys there. All right, that's a wrap.